When a patient hears the word surgery, they are panicking because it's like a big word, but there are minimally invasive surgeries for herniated discs, right? Definitely. And what are those? So uh, let me just give you a, a, a way to sort of uh, contradistinct. So the classic way, you open up the spine, strip the muscles off the bone, get into the canal by taking a bunch of bone, and that obviously causes scarring deep in the canal and mm -hmm. muscle injury, mm -hmm. thereby six months of recovery, brace, therapy, etc. The minimally invasive way essentially is a way to do the same operation without causing all that injury. So instead of opening up the spine big and wide, you make a very small incision and use a tube, thereby you avoid cutting muscles, you protect the muscles. Inside the canal, the least amount of disruption that you can do the less scarring there will be. So all of this describes a way to do surgery where the patient does not suffer the injury from surgery as much. Now look, surgery has risks, even minimally invasive surgery. But the reality is that if I was to have surgery, if I was to send my family for that, I would want the most sparing approach. And that's what minimally invasive surgery is all about. And the reality is also is after this minimally invasive surgery, the results are amazing. Sometimes people, correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm no doctor here. I play a doctor. No, uh, they, their pain goes away pretty fast. Yeah, that's my expectation. So uh, uh, I expect the patient to wake up and in recovery, my ugly face is what they see first. And I ask, oh them, is your pain gosh, gone? Your handsome face. Uh, thank you. And, and, and I expect them to say that the pain is gone.